this is my review on the EM2217. Um, I currently use this on a 120 gallon tank. If you look through some of my other videos, you'll see the tank that it runs on. Um, it's able to go and maintain a 120 gallon tank that currently has a 16 inch Tiger shovel nose, a 10 inch red tail, a 7 inch Pleco, along with a few extra cichlids thrown in. Um, this particular system is very easy to take apart. It's got a couple of set clips. I've currently been running this particular series for about six months now. Um, the clips are nice and easy. They hold it perfectly tight. It does have these quick exchange, um, atta uh, quick attachments. The one thing that I will note about these is that if you read through reviews and other people's comments, You'll find that they say hold a paper towel underneath this when you break it apart. I find that unfortunately a paper towel isn't quite enough for the amount of water that's in these and I actually usually break it apart using a hand cloth or something like that. But as long as you do this one with a hand cloth, you'll catch most of the water and you won't cause anything to leak out on the floor. So you want to be careful of this where the lower attachment is made out of plastic. Once you get this situated and you get these clips off, just give it a little bit of a push and bump it a couple of times and it usually comes free. I forgot. You have to release this. Otherwise this seems to set up a vacuum. Uh, see? We released it and now it pops right off. And here you thought I was weak. This comes off nice and easy. Once you have that off, you can set it aside. Most of the water drains out as you take it off. And then it's just a matter of taking everything out in the order that it originally was in. This comes out first. I usually set it right next to the lid. and your thicker cut comes out next. Now this filter has been up and running for almost two months. Um, I run clamp filtration on the tank that it was on, so I don't usually have to change the filter out anything more than about every two months. This, uh, you can't see it because it's off of the camera, but there is a bucket on the floor that has water that I've siphoned out of the tank. This goes into it so that you can wash it using water that came out of the tank. That's very important so that you don't kill your beneficial bacteria. Um, another side note, one thing I like to do is I like to flip it over as it's going in so that everything coming comes back out in the order it goes in. Next you have the filter media that Helium includes. It's this media here. It works great. Um, the trouble is that you have to pull it out and you have to hand wash through everything. Um, for this, I usually pull out another side dish of some sort and put it off into it so that I can sift back through it. Remember, we're trying to clean it up and get 
the large particles out, but not kill off all the beneficial bacteria. Now one short thing to note is that the beneficial bacteria is capable of surviving for a short period of time in a moist environment, in non-standing water. Um, the argument is anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. I prefer not to chance it because once your beneficial bacteria starts to die, um, the canister filter can actually become toxic, killing your fish later on once you attach it. to continue to preserve the beneficial bacteria. I recommend pulling tank water out and topping off the bowl that you have all of your bio balls in. Now we can set this aside. Okay, so now at this point, the next step with this helium is dealing with the rest of the filtration system. Uh, yet again, we're putting things into the bucket in a reverse order so that when we put it back in, it's much easier. So now we're going to take out our coarse sponge, which is part of the Ilium's mechanical filtration system. Then from there, We have the next part of the biofiltration, which Ilium provides ceramics. And again, we'll be putting those into a bowl in order to be able to go and put water on top of them to preserve beneficial bacteria. This bowl being about one half to a third the size.
So now we have the ceramic beads. Again, we top it off with tank water. Now from here, we pull out the last piece. Which is a plate similar to the top. And from there, you will find the large stuff that has managed to make it down the siphon and into the system. And now we just dump it out. From here, we need to clean it out and make sure everything's all nice and smooth on the inside. Um, you want to pay special attention to making sure that the inner lip is perfectly clean of any impurities. That's where the seal for the top of the filter is. Um, as long as that is nice and clean, it will seal up perfectly fine and the clips will snap in and you'll be all set.